Welcome to another hair tutorial brought to you by Styles by Trees. Today I'm going to show you how I straighten out my hair. This is something that I typically do about once a year because um, one, I stay in the south. And with all that heat and humidity, I don't have time for all this hair to be down, for me to spend XYZ hours doing it, just for it just to poof back up again and it to be a complete waste of time. When I do straighten out my hair, I do not use an electric flat iron. I don't even own an electric flat iron. Um, typically in the past when they have been used on my hair, it doesn't last long. I actually use a cast iron flat iron. I have been using it for years. It gives me the heat that I need, the control that I like. It can be something that if you don't know what you're doing, it will clearly burn your hair out and burn you as well. But in the video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I do use to make sure that I don't burn my hair out while I'm getting it straightened. So if you like the way how my hair looks, if you may be interested in how to use a cast iron, flat iron, please stay tuned to the video. If it's your first time here, please make sure you do subscribe and also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you are someone who has been tuning in to me for a while, thank you so much for coming back and looking at this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as I'm shooting this intro right now, I actually straightened my hair out last Sunday. And this is what my hair looks like seven days old. Still looking good. Still looking good. I got some products that I use and it truly helped your girl out. See you guys later. Bye. I want to start off by showing you some products that I have to help with my hair straightening. First is going to be the thing, guys, it's natural edge control, which is really, really good to help keep your edges smooth. Next is going to be the Back to Nature Silk Serum Drops. Up next, I have the Remorex Heat Protector. After that, I have the ISO Plus Pressing Oil. Next is the Smooth and Shine Straightening Polisher. After that, I have OGX Thermal Spray and then also the Smooth Style Spray. And both of these are also used as heat protectors. This is my new favorite hair care product. This is the Ellie K Shea Yogurt Care Moisturizer. I am so in love with this product. Next is the Giovanni Frizz Be Gone, and this is an anti-freeze hair serum. Also love this product as well, and it is new to my collection. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair, and what I'm doing, I'm taking the Ali K Hair Moisturizer, and I'm just applying that to all over my hair, I'm sorry. Making sure that gets real incorporated. Next, I'm going in with the OGX. Smooth Style Spray as my heat protector, making sure that gets worked in well is also. And then I'm going to finish it off with the Giovanni Anti-Frizz Hair Serum. Um, I'm using a nice bit amount of those. I would say something more like a nickel size amount um, as I'm putting it into my hair just to make sure I get good coverage with that as well. With these products, I am not going to blow dry out my hair tonight um, or the night of when I am applying it. I'm going to actually two -style twist my two strand twist, I'm sorry, my hair into four sections and I am going to go to bed and let that dry overnight a significant amount. I have that type of hair that does not like to dry. Um, it takes it five days just for it once to dry, but this way the products have a great chance to really incorporate throughout my hair, and then I have less time blow drying my hair right before I do get ready to straighten it out. And this is just me with my hair broken down into four sections, just two strand twisting it. Um, starting at the scab all the way out, and I'm just going to pin this hair up. You're going to see me put my hair scarf on, go to bed.
So this is what the style looks like after it has been taken down the next day. My hair is not completely dry. So I'm going to break it down into four sections. Oh, it's so luscious. 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 It's that Alley K. That Alley K. Go get your song. You're not going to be mad you did. So back breaking it down in four sections to let it air dry out a little bit. And this is what I'm going to use to straighten out my hair. I have a cast iron flat iron. And then I also use a cast iron um, curling iron as well. And then that's my stove that I use. Simple operation to click on and off. I'm going to take some of the silk serum and just going to grease my flat iron with that. Putting that and letting that get heated up. Taking the OGX silk blowout spray and using that as I'm blowing out my hair. It's not going to take me long because it is partly dry. Um, you know, just not all the way. Now it's time to straighten out my hair. One thing that's very important, whenever you're doing anything like that, just use very small sections, which is going to be what you're going to see me doing coming up. I use a very small amount of that silk serum drops um, and incorporated it in each section of my hair. A little goes a long way, so please make sure you're only using about a dime size amount of that product. Again, you want to start, you want to do your hair, not start, you want to use very small sections when you are straightening out your hair. Now, and on to using this flat iron. One trick that I use to make sure that I'm not burning out my hair is that I would take the hair that has come out as I was combing it out for my uh, from the blow drying or just any loose hairs that I have laying around the sink. And I would test that just to make sure, one, that flat iron is not too hot before I put it on my hair, it's on my head, or two, just to make sure that it is hot enough. Make sure you guys are doing it. Take your loose hairs that you have, the ones that freshly come out of your hair, and test that before you actually put that flat iron on your hair to make sure it is the right temperature. So again, this is me working with a small section of hair and just slowly taking my time as I'm running it through my hair to make sure it is straightening evenly and also that it looks smooth. If you have to run back through a section of hair again, just to make sure it's as smooth as you want it to, please make sure that you do. And I'm sure you guys just noticed, before I put that flat iron in my head, I put it up to my lips. I've been using this for so many years. I can typically tell about how hot it is just by getting it close to my lips and feeling the heat of that flat iron that way. It's not something that I recommend someone doing that is new to using a cast iron flat iron. But again, I have been using this for years, so I'm pretty comfortable with using that method. And again, I'm just taking another small section of hair, pinning the other portion out of the way. Make sure each section that you take, you are combing it out, making sure it is detangled. Testing again with loose hairs just to make sure it is hot enough or not too hot before I put it on my hair that's in my head. And then just flatten it out my hair. 
taking my time, making sure it is straight and as smooth as I want it. guys so I'm gonna run through the rest of my hair doing the exact same thing small section of hair making sure that flat iron isn't too hot before I put it on my head taking my time making sure the hair is as straight and as smooth as I want it and just repeating that and just repeating I'm sorry that process until my hair is done Right, guys so we're toward the end of me straightening out my hair I absolutely love the way how it looks so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial I hope you guys took something from it I hope you learned something from it I hope some of the products that I've shown you you will incorporate that into what you have already here to help you get great results when you're doing it because we all know it is very time consuming when you're straightening out natural hair and you know we want to just make sure that all that hard work we have hair that's gonna last and that's gonna look good amen you know because we ain't out here in these streets trying to spend a hundred dollars hundred dollars just to get your hair straightened out nah we ain't doing that we can do it ourselves just make sure you have the right products. Just make sure you have the right tools. And hey, you can also get your salon results as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And all things, make sure you put the good Lord first. And don't be out here doing nothing you know you ain't got no business doing. Bye.